Hey guys, in this video, we'll see how to integrate Google Bard with Flutter. So this is our end product, which we will walk through together. On the left hand side is the Flutter web app, which has the input text controller. On the right hand side, we have Google Bard running inside the Flutter web. Both of these are present inside a single Flutter web application. Let's see this in action. We type here, hello Bard, send enter. It responds us back with, I'm here to help you. We save all our queries inside this history. And if you are curious how we made this happen, stick around till the end. There are three steps required to integrate BARD in Flutter. The first one is we need to create BARD server locally, which internally calls the BAM API. For this, we also need to get access to the Maker Suite. Maker Suite is a fast and easy way to start prototyping Gen AI ideas. There are three prompts available from Maker Suite text prompt, data prompt, and chat prompt. These are the different BAM2 models. The first one is Gecko, Otter, Bison, and Unicorn. In our case, we will be using the Bison model. The second step is to create Google Bard UI inside the Flutter web app. We will also integrate the server URL which we created in the step one. The third and the final step is to send the queries from the Dart side or the Flutter web app side to the JavaScript and Bard server. Head over to the Maker Suite, create an API key. So for that, we need to click on this Get API key. This key will be used for calling the Palm2 APIs. It's time to create our server. We create an empty folder called a server. Type in the command npm init-y. It creates a package.json inside our server. Next, we install some of the modules like .env, Express for creating a server and Nodemon for listening to the server based changes. We also install the packages Google AI as well as Google Auth library. This package generative language is the official Node.js client for the generative API. This Google Auth library is the Node.js client for the Google APIs. Next, we create a .env file which consists of the API key parameter and the value is your Maker Suite API key. We create a file called index.js. Inside this file, we import the dependencies first. We fetch the env file from the .env package. For creating the server, we use the express package and start our server at localhost port 1234. We create two endpoints, one for testing the server, which is a simple get endpoint, and the other endpoint is for the integration with Palm API, available at slash text prompt. We have another file called text prompt, which includes the Palm API integration. Inside this file, we import the generative AI and Google Auth library packages. We get access to the Maker Suite API key using the .env package. We create a text client by passing this API key. Next, we call the function generate text from the text client. This generate text generates a response from the model given an input message. We pass in the model name, which is Bison in our case, and the prompt string input, which is the user sent prompt. This function is exposed as call text API for other JS files. Back in our index.js file, we import the text prompt JS file as text API. Inside the text prompt endpoint, we get the request body and extract the prompt. This prompt is then sent to the function call text API. The response is obtained in the output and then sent over to the calling client. We run the server using npm run server command. For testing our endpoint text prompt, we will curl this and send the request as prompt hello how are you. The response we get from the service is I am doing well, thank you for asking. We create a Flutter project which targets only web using the command here. For integrating Google Bard in Flutter, we will be using a concept called Element Embedding. In case you are not familiar with it, I have a separate video on this topic here. Back in our Flutter project, we installed the dependency JS here. This package JS is required for using JavaScript interoperability in Dart. Before we deep dive further, these are the constraints for this interop. Inside our Flutter web project, we only have two Dart files, the main.dart and bard.dart. The main.dart file simply calls the home page, which is present inside the bard.dart. 
This my homepage class is a stateful widget and hence we have a state associated with it. Next we import the packages JS and JSUtil. We annotate our state object with the JS export annotation. This JS export annotation is used to make Dart classes exportable so that it can be called from the JavaScript side as well. Inside our build method, we create a text controller which will be used by the user to enter prompts as we can see on the right hand side. Since we are targeting both Flutter as well as the JavaScript to be in the same application, so we need to customize our web app. First thing we need to do is replicate the Google Bard UI using vanilla HTML and CSS. We head over to the Flutter web project and go inside the web folder. We put in the assets here and the appropriate CSS in the file style.css. Next we go to the index.html and include the CSS file. Inside the body tag, we create a parent section which includes the Flutter app and the Google Bard UI. We also create a JS interop file and include it inside the HTML script. We need to look into how we can customize the Flutter web app initialization. Navigate to this section and see about the entry point URL as well as on entry point loaded callback. Back inside our index.html, we modify our script for loading the Flutter engine. First, we get access to the Flutter element which is Flutter target in our case. We also import the Flutter JS library inside index.html. We call the load entry point which comes from the Flutter library. Inside this, we customize the on entry point loaded method. Here we call the initialize engine and pass our host element as the Flutter app. If we look into the documentation, we see the description of host element. The result of this custom web initialization is the Flutter app always takes up the designated portion while the HTML side takes the remaining space. Back inside our bad.dart, we first need to call create.export. This create.export given a Dart object that is marked exportable, it creates a JS object literal. Next, we pass the app state object from the Dart to JS side and we can get access to the state set object which will be defined in the JS interop file. The text prompt entered by the user is saved inside a variable text query and this variable is annotated with JS export so that it can be accessed in the JS side. Inside the JS file, we first get access to the form and chat container elements which are present inside the index.html here and here. Next, we create a function in JS file in which we get access to the app state and this app state is nothing but defined here. We also get the text prompt entered by the user in the Dart side by calling text query and this text query is one which was defined here. We register a handler function called addHandler which updates the text field from the Flutter by passing the callback here. This addHandler function is also defined in the Dart side which listens to a stream and calls the callback handler. And finally, we are attaching event listeners for the submit button as well as the key up button. These event handlers are invoked when the user presses the enter on the text controller or presses a send button on the floating action button. Inside this handle submit function, we first create a chat stripe. This chat stripe is nothing but a user stripe and a bot stripe. And based on the input in this chat stripe function, we create the div based on the CSS classes. Next, we create the bot stripe by passing the isBot parameter as true. And finally, we call in our localhost server endpoint text prompt. This endpoint is of type post and we send the prompt input which we get from the form data. If the response is ok, then we extract the bot parameter and send over for typing, otherwise we show that something went wrong. Let's run this project using flutter run dash chrome and it shows us the flutter app and the bard UI. So let's ask it again like hello bard, we press enter, so it says I am here to help you. 